Let's start here. Yep, that'll work. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of composing in pentatonic parallel part 18 elaboration in today's episode. We wanted to work with our previous work and elaborate it. And we, since the last time we had gotten together, we had done what we called a three pillars visualization of what we had called the repeat format melody, which sounded like this. And we completed that visualization today. And we, uh, the original one looked like this. So we called this the three pillars, but we wanted to put a candle flame shape on top of it. And so we hopped over to a drawing program and made a little uh, teardrop shape out of a triangle and a circle like that. And then we went back and redid the movie. It looks like this. And we also figured out how to cast the light against the background, which we felt fit right in with our shadows theme we've been tracking all along in this series. And these are three different parts of the composition. So that happened. We also wanted to take the original 48 second and work our way up to 180 seconds. And we did that and we came up with some variations. We, we started with this repeat format and then we did some elaboration on the melodies and we changed tempos quite a bit. So this is quite a different melody pattern. And for comparison, we brought the original melody over here at the same fast tempo. And we varied it also. So this is now a variation of the original melody. We did another melody. Uh, no, that was a melody variation. Then we wanted to add cadence variations. And to do that, we turned these into arpeggios. And that was kind of neat. And then just for grins, we thought, well, what if we took those cadences and our, our kind of original melody, and when we played it, we liked how they sounded together, but we slowed it way down like this. We kind of liked that, and it turned out when we did that, it became 180 seconds long. So I said, whoa. Then we went ahead and we said, well, let's export those files uh, down where we can work with them. And so we took this version, Melody, Arpeggio, Cadence, and put that all in here as we do. And we made a, a Three Pillars B movie out of it. And the three pillars B looks like this. Each one of the pillars has its own horizontal track to make the handle. <clears throat> handle and flame flicker. And we're using the pendant shape up here 
and then we worked with uh, making shadows that overlapped and so what we're going to do is play the whole composition from here before we kind of do a final recap so we can we can watch the visualization while things run So that is pretty neat, we thought. A lot got done today. Looking ahead, ideas for next steps. Um, we have that other melody variations to work with that we could work with. And in particular, we're interested in looking at passing notes. Everything we've seen so far in the 3443 is using cadence notes and backbone notes, and the melody is all included in the cadences so we have no passing notes yet um, and also the nuances so the visualization is pretty harsh with the flashing lights we kind of like to somehow figure out how to tone it down on the other hand we did a lot of good work figuring out figuring out even how to get those casting the lights on there so we're, we're not unhappy with the least bit with that and similarly we want to start looking at nuances in the dynamics and and probably the tempos start now that we've got something that's three minutes long we could start to kind of smooth the edges and anyway we call that nuances so as always thank you for your time and attention a shout out to mirko the gamer 93 thank you for your follow thank you for your comment i always appreciate hearing from you guys and we look forward to seeing you in the next episode, and as always, keep on streaming.